has captured Captain Keys and are holding him aboard one of their cruisers, the Truth and Reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The Corps issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that ferries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit them, Marines! Go, go, go! The Corps ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for Marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my Halo Combat Evolved series where I'll be playing through the original Halo on the original Xbox console. Uh, today we're playing level 3 uh, Truth and Re Reconciliation which is probably one of the more unique levels in the game. It's a nighttime sniper mission, kind of covert style mission as you can tell. Uh, basically the premise of the mission is that ship that you see right there is the Truth and Reconciliation Covenant ship and this is the first time in the game that you'll be actually uh, boarding a Covenant ship and therefore seeing you know what it looks like what the Covenant uh, you know style is as far as their technology and all that stuff goes so first we have to fight our way to the gravity lift to get onto the ship. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we're gonna come around here. Uh, one of the cool things is uh, your sniper rifle has a night vision scope on it. So we'll be using that. Uh, try to take these guys in this canyon out. It's also the only time in the game where you'll have this much sniper ammo. We start with 64 reserve and four in the magazine, so last you a good long while, you know. So we'll take out some of these guys. I always try to take them guys on the guns out first. Them and the elites. be sure too when you're shooting uh, even the grunts but also the jackals make sure you hit them in the back or like dead center uh, I mean the head or like dead center in the back and even then like always go for headshots first because for some reason uh, in this game the sniper rifle you can one shot people sometimes to the body and then sometimes it'll take three or four shots. And I don't know why that is. But that's why it's always better to just go for the head. And you don't have to worry about it. I ain't wasting ammo. Once we take these guys out around this corner that I'm pointing at is going to be a group of enemies. So we'll just start lobbing grenades back there, basically. I don't think they trigger until you jump down there. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Right. 
people always talk about how terrible the the assault rifle and Halo One is, but it's it's really not. You know, if you especially if you're up close, like it'll it'll cut really cut guys down because uh you know it just hits so hard. The problem is the accuracy; it sprays just all over the place. So, but if you kind of feather the trigger, then at a at a distance you can still be fairly accurate. But on legendary, you always want to you know be situational. So when you're fighting against the Covenant, plasma weapons are always preferable. Stop. Motion tracker shows movement around the next bend. So we'll go up here and take some of these guys out. When you take that jackal out, it triggers uh, the music. That's really cool. I'll link it in the video, but uh, Marty O'Donnell, the longtime audio director for Bungie, who did the, you know, was the the audio lead uh, for all the Halo games. Uh, and the first Destiny game, uh, as well as older Bungie games like uh, Myth, Marathon, and stuff like that. Um, he has a YouTube channel now. Uh, he no longer works for Bungie, unfortunately, but uh, I wish 343 could get him. He has his own game company now, but I uh, wish 343 could get him for uh, to come back to Halo, but that's another thing entirely. But, um... Anyway, he has a YouTube channel where he uploads a lot of cool videos, kind of behind the scenes stuff with uh, during the Halo days and his time at Bungie. And he actually recently did one where it's a uh, breakdown and like the original files for uh, Cover of Night, which is this music that's playing right now. So I'll link that in the description for the video in case anybody's interested in checking that out. There's a, there's a little crevasse to the right over here, if there's an Elite in. Oh, there he is. some guys coming from around this corner. Yeah, there they are. See how I was talking about how I hit him? Not exactly in the head, so it didn't kill him. I love the how the Halo ring, since it's nighttime, kind of has that glow coming off of it, and then it has that shadow area where it stops, goes from shadow to light, almost like a planet style. One side of the ring is dark, the other side's not. And then, nice thing about this is there's a pretty long engagement 
uh, at the gravity lift before you go into the ship that can exhaust a lot of ammo so you can backtrack to this area to where that health pack and that ammo was and uh, get more sniper ammo, fill, refill your health and all that stuff. Covenant forces detected up ahead. The path up on the left should let us sneak up around them. So, we're going to just stay around. Stay back while you get into position, Chief. I'm just going to stay around this outer edge. Take this guy out. There's some jackals that are going to come from around that corner over there. Cortana to fire team Charlie. The chief has the left flank covered. Recommend you move up the middle. There's also an invisibility up uh, over here, but I'm gonna save that until the Covenant dropship comes in. thing about the invisibility is sometimes you can get it behind the elites and uh, one hit melee them to the back. So we'll see if we can kind of sneak up behind this elite when he jumps off. Cortana to yeah. Echo 419. Requesting reinforcements at our position. They'll stay. Roger Cortana. Echo 419 on approach. There we go. Just taking out the elite like that really helps make the encounter easier. Oh, what am I getting shot by? Holy crap. Oh. Oh man, that was unfortunate. I'm gonna try that again. We'll hang back while you get into position, Chief. There's a that elite up there. Where's that? He may have ran since he was shooting at me. I don't know if I'll be able to find him or not. May have to just loop around and kill him. the misses. So I'm going to wait for the 
Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Wait for the Covenant dropship to come in, then I'll pick up the invisibility. Alert! Covenant dropships are inbound. So the next area is the gravity lift. It's pretty difficult. Had to fight waves of enemies that come down from the gravity lift. And uh Oh. Should I have that grenade? They can get in the way. We're directly under the ship now. The Covenant use a gravity lift to move troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. Yeah, it's so crazy how and use the lift to enter the ship. How sometimes you can one shot elites to the head. <laughs> and sometimes it takes I mean I didn't hit him in the head every time, but Gunners. But once the waves start coming in, it's best to just stay back in this cave in this kind of cavern right here. Because if you get caught out in the open, those guys will melt you. You have to kind of push up here though, in order to trigger it. sniper ammo so it's almost time to backtrack um, to that first area where the there was ammo and health I don't need the health yet though yeah 
so I'm gonna go ahead and head back and get the ammo just because the sniper rifle is so critical for this area especially when the hunters come down cool thing that about the original Halo 2 was how all the the enemy bodies and uh, decals and stuff like the blood decals all stayed like you saw how far forward into the level I've moved and these elites are still here the grunts are still there so the bodies like in older games, you know, you don't see it as much now, but especially in older games, you know, the bodies would disappear so that they weren't taking up memory. And that's the normal uh, amount of sniper rifle ammo. 20 in reserve, 4 in the mag. But like I said at the beginning of this mission, you start with 64 in reserve, 4 in the mag. So they give you a lot of shots. Oh man, my <laughs> bad, dude. A lot of playing this game on Legendary is just patience. So deadly. Oh, oh I'm out of, out of grenades. Okay, relax. <laughs> God, dog. Those guys are so vicious. Plenty of grenades over here.
I can pick up some ammo. This guy. And back into my cave, my my little uh, my own personal thermopylae. Shots. Oh crap. Did I get any grenades? I guess not. some grenades at least. Alright, here come the hunters. So, usual game plan with hunters. Shoot them in the, that part. Usually once you kill one, you can kind of push the other one. Because once you get close enough, it'll he'll do the thing where he'll this, where he comes at you. Of course, you're not supposed to get hit by him. <laughs> The next part's hard. The hard part. <laughs> Basically, in a room surrounded by doors. And elites with swords. Gold sword elites keep pouring in. Get some marine back up. kind of have to just pay attention to your radar. There's four doors the enemies are going to come out of, so you have to look on your radar to know which door they're about to come out of, because you'll see them on the radar before... I keep bumping the webcam. <laughs> before they actually uh, come out. There's also a... Um, behind here, there's a, a visibility. And, of course, there's health pack. So... So watch the radar. You'll see it. So we yeah. have these guys are really tough. And then once you get, you can kind of hide up in one of these rooms, you know, kind of hold your ground. So 
there's another gold sword leaf. So we gotta watch. Freaking on gold sword leaves. Ah, these are so ridiculous. There, oh, oops. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, 
Plasma Plasmapistol. being so cautious because I don't know if any more of the elites are going to come out. Like you have to go down here but if normally if you finish this part and you still have marines alive they'll all kind of congregate down here by this door and just wait for you to go around and let them in they're when i play through they don't usually survive but other people might be good enough to do it Leads. Oh. Sniper. I think the next room has sniper ammo. Oh, forgot about these guys. Oh, <laughs> try to sneak up on you. Still coming from over here? <laughs> I guess I am on their ship though. It makes sense that they're still coming from all angles. This part can be kind of tricky too. But I don't want to get rid of a sniper rifle because I know I'm going to get more ammo and it's really useful. But at the same time... That was stupid. 
don't know why he did that. But I'll take it. And there's guys down below. You kind of have to circle around, then you go down some hallways. But I always try to um, take out the guys down below. guys take out that elite at least That music's kind of cool too. I like it. Kind of old school. Techno. Crazy sci fi sounding. Dude was running. Booking it. I got that. Good lord. Be still. So I can kill you. Yeah, I just got this elite. He's in the hallway, lead at the bottom. the elites down here. I'm always paranoid. Because the checkpoints in this game are like kind of few and far between. So it's like, oh, there's two of them. Come on, recharge. Recharge. <laughs> recharge. Whoa, did I not hit him? Wait a minute. Because I heard the other one die. There we go. I got him. Is that it? Now there's some health and ammo packs. That might not be it. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, okay. There's health and ammo packs. And that's where I'll get sniper ammo. There we go. So That's why I try to hang on to the sniper. Because it's so effective later in the level. That if you run out of ammo and then discard it, you'll find ammo for it later. But you won't have the sniper. So, some enemies are going to come in. 
so we'll just kind of use this hallway as cover. so funny how sometimes you can one shot them and then sometimes they'll like take <laughs> multiple shots like I don't know if there's just like a sweet spot that I don't know about after all these years or what and see there's still sniper ammo right there so I can be kind of liberal with my use of the sniper right here Oh, that was a terrible grenade throw. Once you've killed all the enemies, this little red icon will pop up and that'll let you know that, that you're done. So we're kind of looking for that. One funny thing about this game, though, is like I was talking about earlier about the the enemy bodies and the blood decals and everything staying on the screen means that whenever there's a big battle, your frame rate will drop <laughs> dramatically. Ah. There it is. So now there's still a guy, but we can go deal with him. So we kind of, now we're making our way to the bridge. I always love the, the design of the Covenant ships. All the, the, the purples and greens and blues. Definitely had an alien feel to it. another entryway I think the next part is the uh, hangar the big hangar bay which it can be pretty tough that took a long time for that grenade to hit me I want to say at some point there's some uh, invisible elites too that you have to deal with 
Those are always fun. One fun thing about uh, Halo CE, maybe this it could be this way with other games. I don't know, but um, if you're aiming at something really far away with your sniper rifle, and you keep you put the you put the aim and reticule on the thing that you're wanting to shoot at. And then you switch to a weapon that doesn't have a scope or just doesn't zoom as far and fire without moving the, the stick, it'll go exactly to that point. So like for instance a rocket, I've done this before, zoom in on stuff with a rocket or with a sniper that I want to shoot with a rocket from way off and then switch to my rocket and fire and it'll go exactly to that point. Like I said, that, that could be something that's normal in games. I've never actually tr tested it or tried it, but it could be. So, on to the next part. Yeah, so this is the hangar bay. That guy don't even see me. So I'll wait for him to walk back around, pop him a couple of times. I thought he patrolled that area up there. Yeah. Oh! Oh, he's so quick. <laughs> the dudes are so slippery. Look at him. Look at him trying to pop out. Oh! Come on, be still. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah. I think so. So, should be... A door over there enemies are going to come out of. Remember correctly. Oh, yeah. It didn't stay. So, again, I always, in big rooms like this, I always try to use the hallway or wherever room that I entered from as kind of like my retreat zone. So I can just kind of stand back and hit guys. Yeah, there's some up there. And I think there's more sniper ammo in this room as well. I think they give you a pretty steady supply throughout the mission. I can't tell if that's on my radar if that's a grunt or the other jackal. Let's see. And you'll notice I'm going to be playing <laughs> considerably more campy uh, on this mission. This is probably arguably the hardest mission on the game. So, you know, there's a lot of areas where you kind of have to, if you don't want to waste a bunch of time by dying, you have to play kind of campy. I think there's some uh, hunters that come out later. There's a sniper ammo. Up there, so we got 20 rounds of the sniper. Good to go. We'll come around this way. Oh, there's an overshield too. I forgot about that.
this dude? <laughs> Where are you going? Get over here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's an elite. I don't remember that guy being there. Try to worm my way back over here. It's so easy with all those crates and everything to get turned around to where they can uh, flank behind you. Oh, that was a terrible shot. So that's why I always kind of retreat back. But once you take the, the elites out, it's considerably easier. Because the grunts are fairly easy, as long as you don't get overwhelmed. The grunts are fairly easy to take out. I don't know why I'm missing those shots. So, there's somebody up there. That's a. Oh, yeah, same. Alright, here come the hunters. So, again, do the old hunter juke on them. Oh my god. Dude's, <laughs> Dude's freaking marksman with that thing. Where'd he go? Thought I saw more people on the radar. That's why I came back here. Maybe not. I don't worry too much if it's just me and the hunters. Oh, caught him slipping. So now I can go take the other guy out pretty easy. Drag scope. And there's still more. That's sniper ammo. That's sniper ammo. That's sniper ammo. So they keep you pretty well Got it. The door is open. stocked Everyone up on sniper ammo. Now. I can't guarantee that it won't lock again when it closes. So the next part is finding. Uh, well, first we got to go to the uh, the bridge, which there's a gold sword lead there. Then we gotta go find Captain Keys in the holding cells. <laughs> we got Elite Ryan. I still feel like even though this game is older, like, graphically, to me it holds up. I mean, obviously I'm viewing it from the perspective of 
you know, somebody who's played it countless times and never gets old. But I still feel like, I know gameplay wise, it definitely holds up. But like even graphically, like I feel like the art style and the graphics are simplistic enough that they don't look bad even after all these years. Like really, about the only thing that I would say could be cleaned up on this version is the aliasing all the jagged edges you know that's why I wish so bad that they would make uh, an actual port of this version uh, to the Master Chief collection instead of the PC port where the graphics are all wonky and pieces left out I saw that invisible elite, so I'm scared there's more of them. Kind of watching myself. They're so hard. Invisibility is so hard to see in this game. Like, I understand why they changed it, but I still liked it. Shimmer. Oh. Oh. A clat. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's what's up. shuttle bay door for later charge where'd he go bruh this dude here got the jukes almost feel like I need to go back down and get some more ammo do that if I can I don't even know if it'll that, yeah it's still open I never mind backtracking to get ammo if it's gonna save me some pain and heartache later in the mission
I wish there was a health pack down here, but I don't think there is. I think I got all the health packs already. Yeah. So I got plenty of grenades. Something nice they could, Microsoft could do is, um, when the, because all the boasting about, uh, the backwards compatibility, uh, abilities of the Xbox Series X and how it'll be able to, um, add all these new features to old games like higher frame rates, um, uh, higher resolutions, maybe even some anti aliasing and stuff like that. Like, if they could do that, if it does that and, I can play, put my original Halo disc in and have all that stuff applied to the original game. That would be amazing. I'd love to play it like that. And if they do do that, then I may uh, do a playthrough again. I don't need, I never need much of an excuse to play the original Halo. Yeah, I need a health pack. Something fierce. I know there's one in this mission, but I don't know if it's before I get to the bridge of the ship or not. Did that get the elite? Nope. stand back in case there's another grenade nearby because grenade explosions if there's in this game I don't remember if the other ones do it or not to be honest but in this game if a grenade explodes next to another grenade it causes that grenade to explode and you end up with a chain reaction that if you're close enough by it'll kill you this part's difficult as well because there's going to be guys coming out of are vicious. I like how if when you get them low enough in health, they'll get mad and growl and come just running at you. On the one hand, it makes them easier to kill, but it's still kind of intimidating. <laughs> oh, come on. Give me a health pack. Now, why is that open? Or closed? I just opened it. Oof, big oof. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die there. I don't have enough health. But I forgot those guys come from behind, so that's not too big of a deal. I'll be ready for them next time. So we'll wait. I think it's right when I pass maybe that pillar that they come out. I just 
point to get back over here because they come out of both doors to try to sandwich you in. So, come over here so that doesn't happen. Get in situations like this where there's no health packs and you have one health bar, it's so hard to stay alive, especially on a legendary. Because you'll just be walking along and then a door will open and a bunch of elites will run through. And it's like, oh my god. Oh, see. God dang it. I should have known. And see, I've got to start this whole part over with. Oh, that was good. So I'm going to try to rush back over here. I think I'm gonna trigger this one and then go back.
Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. Just want to get those guys out of the way. See? One shot. <laughs> but sometimes it's three. I don't know. I don't remember. come out down there. I guess I could just go bombard the hallway with grenades. Well, maybe not. This mission's so long too. Is it one of these hallways where the... Yes. Thank you. That sniper ammo. And health. Yeah, so this is the bridge. So we're going to kind of flank around because you can come around these side doors and kind of peek in. for that gold sword lead too because he's probably going to push. Yeah. What? No scope. So I think there's one more red elite in here. actually see through this wall right here to see where they're at. See? Well, I say that, you can't actually see him, but... somewhere. He ain't fooling me. Oh, there he is. Call him napping. Oh, wait a minute. Was that an elite shooting at me? Is it? Is there another one in here? Or did I not kill that one? Oh! I bet I didn't kill him. Oh. Never mind that I hit him twice with a sniper rifle. That's not enough. What was I thinking? Come on, dude. How about? 
There we go. We got the little red thing, so we know we're good to leave. One cool snippet of information about um, the bridge of Covenant ships, according to the books, is. Uh, This looks like the ship's command center. The captain's transponder signal is strong. We must be close. So in the books, uh, the Covenant ships. I want to say it was like a part where the Covenant were making, like, basically making fun of the human ship design because all the human ships, the bridge was like forward facing, like at the front of the ship or something like that, with glass windows and all this stuff. Whereas the Covenant ships, the bridge is right in the middle, like in inside the ship, in the middle of the ship, surrounded by the ship. So it could take massive damage to the ship without then still function because the bridge is still intact. So now we gotta go find the captain. Dropping my health now. I need that. Gotta keep old Capitone, El Capitone, alive on the exit. Trying to remember. Oh yeah, I remember. Is this? Okay, yeah. So this one's empty if I remember correctly but it does have invisibility in it we must be in the brig these look like holding pack. cells I guess I could have got another one there are one. probably multiple detention stations the captain must be in one of them we need to keep looking for him yeah so there's the we'll open the thing so I can get some ammo or a frag grenade I guess head straight down Oh yeah. I always like to melee these guys. Usually I can get both of them without alerting one. Yeah, so there's a gold sword elite. Three shots. And there's uh, invisible elites in here as well. Somewhere. Yeah, see him. You're hard to spot, but you can spot him. I hate it when I had to use two shots on two sniper shots on an enemy that's not an elite. <laughs> Super frustrating. It's like I need that ammo for the big guys. So there's another invisible one in here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Well, there he was. I don't know where he went. Okay, I see him. I saw him. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Is 
we're going. So hard to see. What is that white thing that's like bouncing around? Same. Attack. Absolute Chad right there. The Chad of Elites. About time you showed up. <laughs> Coming here was reckless. You two know better than this. Thanks. Marines. Lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. Uh, that's true. The Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Now I see. I have intercepted Maybe not the universe, just our galaxy. Scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon, and the Covenant gain control of it, they'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> Look how big the needler is. Chief, you have the point. <laughs> So there's gonna be some as soon as this door opens, there's gonna be some guys come through there. Visible elites. At least one. Oh, there's another one. He tried to sneak in there, didn't he? So we basically just have to make it back to the hangar bay. Still there? Yeah, he's still. Freaking needler. Is that elite still here? Yep. <laughs> Come on, man. At least show up on the radar or something. Got him. Got him. All right, Captain. You gonna have to. Uh... Oh, let me go. See if there's anything I can get from here. Nope. All right, boys. Let's go back this way. Oh, got him! <laughs> right the freaking head. Oh, nice grenade. Oh my god. 
<laughs> just wiped out half the team. Good job, dummy. All right. Out of sniper ammo again. And there's some gold sword elites up here. Or maybe I don't know if they're gold, but there's some sword elites. I know that. So, let's see. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. I did not. That was terrible. There we go. One more. Oh. We made it. Cortana to Echo 419. We have the captain and need extraction on the double. Negative Cortana. Is that I'm ammo? By Covenant Air no. And I'm having a tough time shaking them. You'll be better off finding your own ride. Sorry. Thought there was some. Acknowledged, Foe Hammer. Cortana out. Air support is cut off, Captain. All right. We need to hold here until she can come back in. over here, fellas. Stow the belly aching, soldier. Remember, you're a leatherneck. <laughs> you and the chief can get us into one of those covenant drops. Stow the belly aching. Can fly us out of here. Yes, Captain. There's a covenant dropship still docked. Come on, Captain. So, that part right there where the guy's crying, oh, we're screwed. That's like directly from, uh, Aliens. Oh, watch out. Because if anybody remembers Aliens, there was that guy, I forget his name, uh, played by the guy that's like from Titanic. I can't remember his name. But uh, he was like the whiny character. He would always, oh, we're screwed, man. Alright, so we gotta make our way this way. I think we're almost there. Oh, did I miss one? Yeah. I'm gonna go get my sniper rifle, just in case. Might be some ammo. Cause I think I left some in this hallway. Yep. Look at there. Look at there. No. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I was about to say. I don't think there's maybe one or two more encounters, and then we're done with the mission. So, this one's a little longer because of how difficult it is. And it is just a, a long mission. So, we basically just have to make it to that terminal, but I'll kill these guys. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Back up. That's it. So I'm a before I hit this button and end the mission. Uh, that's gonna do it for this one. I appreciate everybody stopping by and checking it out. If you like the video, throw me a like. I appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna be loading, uh, uploading the next one uh, tomorrow, and it'll be. Uh, Mission 4, Silent Cartographer, probably the most iconic 
uh, Halo CE mission. So we'll get into that. But uh, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna hit this button and let it play out. And appreciate you watching. That's it. The dropship is loose. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. Uh, no need. I'll take this bird out myself. Captain! Hunters! Hang on! Nice one, sir! Time for a little payback.